Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Over the past couple months, Topaz Labs has been updating their plugins. This includes Sharpen, Denoise, Gigapixel, Mask, and so on. Um, one thing that has been included in these updates is something that I believe is kind of flying under the radar. That is some settings in preferences that I believe may help these applications run better and more effectively and ultimately faster on your system and that's what we're going to talk about in this video now those of you that have been watching my introductory videos let's say on gigapixel or on sharpen or on denoise uh, probably saw the videos where i was using them on a very old imac it was from 2013 uh, seven years old, and those plugins ran really, really slow on that machine. Well, since then, I have updated my computer uh, to uh, a brand new iMac that um, has just been released, and I got it maybe about a week ago. Um, if you're interested in the description below the video, I'll just have the specs of the new iMac. So everything runs much faster on this iMac compared to my old one, as expected. But as I mentioned, there's these new... Um, settings in preferences that I think you should take a look at because it may help these apps run better on your system. Now specifically right now I have Sharpen open and on a Mac preferences is under the Topaz Sharpen AI menu. On a PC it's under the edit menu and when you open up preferences now I should add too when you go from plugin to plugin meaning from like Sharpen to Denoise to Gigapixel it's all slightly different. Uh, so I'll show you from um, I'll show you what it looks like on the different apps right now though we're in sharpen AI and you can see there's a setting here advanced preferences and when you open that you see that you have the option to use a discrete GPU and on this specific computer it does have a discrete GPU it has the best one app and Apple happens to sell currently uh, but unfortunately, it's not the best one available. You could get a better one for a PC, let's put it that way. Because as many of you know, Apple's usually a year or two behind when it comes to uh, the processor that they make available in their machines and the GPU they make available um, in their machines. But still, you have the option here of clicking yes. And if you do, uh, you have the option of clicking high, medium, or low graphics memory consumption. It is recommended you try high, but if you find the app crashing, then to use either medium or low. Now, what I recommend you do is you do some experiments. For example, you saw now that when I enabled the graphics GPU, it turned off this enable Intel Open Vino. If I turn that graphics GPU off, you see that is now enabled. And that is different on some of the other plugins. I'll show you that when we get to them. But um, what I'm getting at is on my machine, I found that Sharpen AI is faster with Open Vino, and it's slower when I have graphics memory uh, turned on. So I did experiments, and it actually was about um, 20 seconds faster when I used Open Vino. And those of you not familiar with Open Vino, um, Intel from their sixth generation processors on included Open Vino and it really um, got uh, upgraded in their ninth generation processor. Um, and basically, I guess colloquially, we could call it its machine learning. And um, those that uh, pro make applications such as Sharpen AI uh, could get an Open Vino toolkit from Intel, which helps them. Uh, program into their application some routines that Open Vino can handle faster than say the processor by itself or in some cases and in my case faster than my GPU so what I recommend you do is try it if you have a discrete GPU uh, try it with yes and try it there and time it I actually used a stopwatch and timed it and then I turned that off and I went to Open Vino and turned that on and I timed it and that's how I found out it was faster with Open Vino. So uh, do some experimentations. Now I mentioned that it's slightly different in other apps. Now if I go to Denoise 
and I go to Preferences for Denoise, you can see it has the same Advanced Preferences button. But if I turn on Discrete GPU here, oh no, this is the same, I take that back. Uh, Denoise AI is exactly the same as Sharpen, so you have the choice. And again, in my experimentations, I found that Open Vino was faster than my Discrete GPU. So we'll go now to Gigapixel. I think Gigapixel is the one that's slightly different. If we go to Preferences, you can see that there's no advanced setting, it's just here. And you have the option to use recommended settings. If you click on that, it just will do some recommended settings. Or you could come in and enable the discrete GPU and or enable Intel OpenVINO. And you'll notice if I do enable the discrete GPU, it's keeping the OpenVINO active, unlike Sharpen and Denoise did. So this is where I was mentioning it's slightly different. Now what I found uh, still is that um, my uh, computer, when I use Gigapixel, even though Gigapixel went pretty fast either way, and it was still slightly faster with OpenVINO all by itself. And again, OpenVINO will be available in uh, any Intel processor uh, from their sixth generation on, and uh, it was really updated in their ninth generation processor. Um, and Again, if we go, let's say, to JPEG to RAW, I don't think it's included at all in JPEG to RAW. So we go to uh, Preferences, and you could see that um, there's no open Vino at all, uh, but it does have the choice to do GPU or CPU. And I found with this, GPU is faster than CPU. Uh, so that was that. So you could go through the various um, plugins you own from Topaz Labs and do some experiments to see which one is more uh, um, efficient uh, for you. Now, Mask AI has advanced preferences, and it only has GPU or CPU. It doesn't have OpenVINO either. So uh, keep an eye on that, and I do recommend if maybe next week, next month, um, Topaz Labs updates, let's say, Mask AI, double-check preferences and see if OpenVINO's there or any other plugins. Just Double check preferences and see if they've done anything that uh, helps um, it work more efficiently and do some experimentations. So that's it. I just wanted to make everyone aware of that because, as I mentioned, I think that's something that really wasn't mentioned and flew under the radar a little bit. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>